All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am both back and unmuted now, which is one one better than I was a moment ago. I got me myself a little bit of water. That's what took so long, uh, because I not only had to set up the flight, but I also had to get myself some refreshment. All right. All right, so. Let's get this bitch going. So we're gonna reset our timer. All right, so our APU is still going. Let's see, preliminary pre-flight procedure. Battery one and two is still on, recorder ground control is still on, external power is not needed, uh, fuel pumps are all off. And we're going to load fuel. So our fuel today for our second trip is going to be 5151. I'm going to go with 52. Uh, what is our passenger loading? 141 passengers. A lot of people going to Belfast today. Our uh, zero fuel weight is supposed to be 57.1. Seven point perfect. Uh, APU is still running. I don't need a fire test on it. Master switch start. Lights are all set up. I'm actually going to turn off my dome light because I just now remembered that it's still on. Flap lever should be at zero. Slash should be retracted. Uh, we don't need window heat, APU bleed is on, air conditioning panel no white, cross bleed is set to auto, air conditioner temperature is good, generator 1 and 2 fault light is on, external power off, uh, electrical panel all lights off, ventilation panel all lights off, preliminary pre-flight procedures complete, let's go for our pre-flight, our gears are still aligned, strobe lights are on, auto, Wing lights can come on. Nav and logo to system. Uh, I'm going to switch them to system one for the second half. Seat belts can come on. Uh, emergency exit. The snow smoking is still on. M emergency exit lights are still armed. Landing elevation is still auto. Pack flow is perfect. Uh, fuel pumps can all come on. And fire test, engine one and two. That's a positive test on engine one. Positive test, engine two. Radios are all on, and now we get to configure our MCDU. We've already confirmed all our GPS coordinates, so today we are going from EGNT to EGAA. Correct? Yes. Flight number is ACA 2131. Our CI today is going to be 52. That's a hell of a cost index. Our cruise flight level is going to be 220. Grab our climb wind. For those of you uh, joining us on YouTube, I know you guys just had this video start. Uh, those of us here on Twitch have been here for a hot minute, but uh, we're just getting some backlog. And then we'll switch back to longer flights, and you guys will see the exact same thing here as you do on you, on Twitch. Um, Twitch folks, thank you so much for being patient while I give a little short blurb to the YouTube audience. Uh, thank you guys all for being here, both sides of the live border. All right, so our departure is going to be from Newcastle 07 via the Girl 1 Tango. No transition. And we're going to jump on Papa 18. To Croft. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. 
your OFG. Oh wait, pardon me. I skipped one Gasco. Pop a eight, uh, 16 to Croft. Yankee 70 to Olin. Holy. Lima seventy. Gun two. Zulu one nine six. Two Gigma. And then from Digma, we're going Mike 146, Ipset, Papa 6, to Belfast. Then we're going to do our arrival at Belfast. Arnav zero seven. Let's take a look at this. All right, let's look at the plan. Upset. What? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete Belfast. And we're gonna go straight. There we go. Actually, I'm gonna zoom in a bit here and I'm gonna remove, I'm gonna turn on all waypoints. And I think we're actually going to go with Leergu. All right, so let's arrival. Uh, Arnav 07 by a Leergu. That's exactly what I want to see. All right, and that looks perfect. So let's jump into init B. All right, and our zero fuel weight is going to be five, seven point one, and our center gravity is 28.1. Block fuel is 5.2. Performance. We're going to use a flaps 1 takeoff. So we are going to be V1 is 135. If it will actually be in the right window. Uh, 140 for V rotate. And V2 is going to be 143. Flaps is going to be two, one slash up 0 0.2. And flex temp is going to be 65 degrees. And we're going to be okay. perfect. 
and then you are going to be set to flight plan. And that's our pre-flight procedures complete. Altimeter should still be set. Flight directors are both on. Landing system is off. Set this back to arc mode. Put that to constraints. And this one to airports. Flight directors are both on. Speed is managed mode. Heading is dashed. Altitude is going to be set to 220, which is our cruising altitude today. Anti-skid and nose wheel steering is on. Switching panel is on normal. Our squawk is already set. Beacon can come on. And then we're going to request pushback. Now we are going today to uh, runway 07. Take a look at our live map. And we're looking for Newcastle. Okay, so we're actually right, but we just need to tail straight back, possibly a little left. Let's look at better pushback, pre-plan. We just need to... It's here. Round to cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you're ready. All right, and we are ready, so let's go ahead and Ground start that pushback. Toe is driving up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are just about ready to leave Newcastle. We've already changed out our passenger load. We have changed, we have refueled. We have changed out cargo. Uh, some of your cargo will be continuing with us to uh, Belfast, regardless of whether or not you are continuing with us. You'll have to argue for about three hours with the airport to find that out, and then we'll ship it back to you just before you return home from your vacation. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and we're going to push back. We're going to start okay. our engines. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. All right, all doors and hatches also re report closed on my ECAM. Nose wheel steering is disconnected. So I can go ahead and check my rudder deflection. Left, full right. Not that it's going to matter since my engines aren't spooled up yet. I don't have pneumatic pressure. Oh, what am I doing, Iraq? Good job. You just checked and made sure that your rudder pedals are connected. You're not actually checking so your flight. connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Parking brake is released, sir, and you're going Starting crazy. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. You're going crazy. Please don't, don't kill us. Don't kill us, sir. Don't kill us. All right, we're going to start engine two first, and we're not going to pay attention to what's going on outside because it's absolutely bonkers. I have no idea what the pushback tug is doing. Um, that's a massive tail strike. I do believe this man is getting fired. I believe this man is fired. Uh, we are totally not in control of the aircraft at this time. Uh, this is just... This is just... Uh, this guy is, is wrecking everything. <laughs> the building, the plane, everything's destroyed. Um, the jetway, the jetway's been destroyed. Um, we're just making very good friends with the TSA. Um, let's kind of see. I can't, I can't see anything. <laughs> uh, thanks, pushback. All right, that is a positive start on engine two. Let's start engine one and pretend that that little detour of spinning around never happened. 
Uh, better push back, guys. Um, I'm not sure what you did to that poor man, but um, that was mean. Please don't do that to me again. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, yakety sex. Yeah. I, um, well, I can't play yakety sax. Let's just, let's just leave that out, out there. I can't do that, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> oh, man. I tell you. There's, there's just a certain point where licensing gets weird. <laughs> Um, but you know what? Everybody has a right to what they put in the work to create. So I'm good with that. All right, looks like we got a positive start. Engine two, let's switch back to norm, or engine one, let's switch back to engine mode normal. AP bleed can come off. Round spoilers can be armed. Flaps set for takeoff. Switch to flight control, and we can pitch trim up 0.2. Uh, and then AP master off. Let's go ahead and start our timer here. Taxi, I can start the taxi checklist just as soon as this guy stops trying to kill us. Oh, why are you still backing up? Can you can you stop please? 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 Why are you doing this? Where are we going? What do you want from me? Why are you sliding? Why do you want to kill me? Okay, 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 hold up. This has got to stop. This has got to stop. Please, 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 please stop, please stop. Please, better push back, better push back, please. What are you doing? Please, stop. Better push back, stop! Let me go! What are you, what are you, can you please, please stop, please. Please, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing, can you let me go? <laughs> I mean, you say he can't push, but see, here's the problem. I'm facing the wrong fucking way now. Push back. Why? What? What are you doing to me? <laughs> oh. Oh no. Bad news. This is not going well. What? Where are we going? Guys, we're on an adventure! And we're vibrating! Where are we vibrating? Are we going to explode? Can we, can we stop? Can we please? Oh... Where are we going? Where are we going? Why are we doing this? Operation complete. Set parking brake. Complete my ass! This is not where I... This is not where I told you to go! What are you... Disconnecting toes. Stand by. No! That does not look anything like where I told you to send me! What the f... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay, okay, we gotta, we gotta, 
You're gonna start the stream leaders battle. Oh. So I'm just gonna make y'all aware right now. I am going to wing strike these buildings, okay? There's just no way around it. Alright, taxi lights on. Um Chrono on. Park brake off. And we're just gonna turn real fucking hard. Okay. I I cannot begin to apologize to everyone on board this airplane right now. I, I cannot apologize enough. Um we goofed. I'm sorry. Um, not even we goofed, the goddamn pushback tug goofed. Alright, so... FMA, nav and climb, auto brake, set max, rain on ND, Purser. Take off check. Decam no blue. Transponder to TARA. Turn on to the runway here. Turn our landing lights on. All our lights all the way on. Our brake temps are good. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Chrono start. <clears throat> We're gonna advance the throttles to 40% smoothly. All right, and black set. Good knots. Boss 
check. B1. We rotate. Positive rate, gear up. Set autopilot. Mm. Here's up, ground spoilers disarmed. Those wheel light and runway turnoff lights are off. AP1 is on. Throttle to decline the tents. Turn off the brake fin because we're good now. And slowly I turn. Yeah, I do not know what happened. I'm gonna I'm gonna review the VOD. Like when I upload this to YouTube, I'm gonna like have to put a checkpoint in here to say, hey, pay attention to this because I want y'all to know I did not fuck this up. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I didn't. 200 knots is our speed for the uh, flap retraction. Uh, so we are on our way now to Belfast. And that's going to be an interesting flight considering the fact that we swing way down south to make it. Speed checked, flaps clean. Landing lights will be retracted at about 10,000 feet. Somewhere between 10,000 and 20,000. Oh boy. That was fun. Uh, <laughs> We got a little bit of an adventure with our ground handling. Uh, better push back. Guys, um, y'all got anything here? Because I sure as hell don't. Alright, so let's take a look outside. That's actually not too bad for being stock X-Plane uh, auto. Like, this is not worth it. This is just auto jet. It's not nearly as good as uh, Microsoft Flight. I will give you that. But guess what? We're not crashing. So, I would call that better. Um... I'm not sure if you guys would agree, but uh, by my book, that's better. Just my thoughts. It looks like we're getting nobody to join us on this fight in Stream Raiders, so we're probably going to lose, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not really concerned with losing. Ah! By the way, for the second flight, I have forgotten to play the briefing. Ah, shit. We forgot to play for you the briefing. So I'm just going to read it now for your viewing enjoyment. Ah, fuck it. Spectacles, testicles, wallet, and watch. If the plane starts to fall, stick your head in your crotch. <laughs> A very simple and eloquent briefing, if ever I have heard one. I gotta be honest, if I heard that on an actual airline, I would lose my shit laughing. Uh, especially if they, like, actually got Gilbert Gottfried to do that. Part of me wants to see if he's on, like, Fiverr or something where I could hire him to read that. But the, uh, the clout of having done it myself is probably worth a lot. Uh, yes, Amazon Prime, link to your Twitch account. Uh, you can get a free monthly sub 
and currently I have uh, very few subs. So, um, anybody who's willing to throw that my way, I am so appreciative. Nobody has to pay a dime into this to make me happy. Um, so now that we're on our uh, climb for our second leg, I'm gonna reiterate what I said for the first leg. Um, I've made a decision, at least for now, we're gonna try this out. I am going to stop doing scheduled Wednesday uh, streams. So I'm gonna do Tuesday and I'm gonna do Friday, right? And then sometimes I may, I may not, I may use Wednesday as a catch up day if I miss a Tuesday or a Friday. Um, I may also just show up at weird times. Some other time I may pop in and do a stream. Uh, and, and specifically one of the reasons why I'm doing this is because I want to be a little less structured. I want to, I want, I want you guys to see me have some fun, and I want to experiment with some things while I can. I don't want to, I, I don't want to be like attempting for, you know, a partner push kind of thing. I don't, I don't want to be pushing for numbers. I just want to have some fun, and I don't have as much fun when I'm doing it in such a constrained manner where I have to have these six hours a week. I'm having to stream and then for each one of those six hours I'm spending four hours in setup takedown um, editing and uploading and uh, making assets that sort of thing that's not something that I want to do right I, 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 I don't want to keep doing that totally structured all the time with with you know checkpoints that I have to meet and no wiggle room whatsoever and then you know it, it kills my desire and my 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 childlike spirit that wants to play right and i think that seeing me playing will be a better experience for you guys just just having fun and and dicking around with something and not having to be good at it and not having to be like trying to make progress something where i can just pop on have a little fun, you know, maybe throw you guys a notification up in, in, in the Discord, but that's it. Um, and then move on and, and just have fun with it. I'll upload it to YouTube later. Um, no big deal. And just have fun and we're done, right? Like, I think that would be fun for you guys to see. It'll be fun for me to do. And it's definitely going to be better for my mental health, uh, my emotional health right now. It's really grating to have, especially having these two days, one right after the other. Um, it is really hard to get up and do the thing two days in a row. Uh, you know, having to, to, to go to, to, to work and then set up for stream, stream, pull down from stream, edit, um, and, and render video all at once. It's killing me. It's killing my desire to keep going, and I don't want that for you guys. So hopefully this will help to make me have more fun so that you guys get to see me having more fun, which I think will translate into you guys having a better time. I think. Um, if it doesn't play out, if I'm not having more fun, if you're not having more fun, if the stream is not better and doesn't benefit from it, I may come back to it. I may come back to doing three days a week and doing Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, or I may look into kind of shuffling it up a little bit, maybe doing it like a, like a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. I don't know. I may play around with it a little bit, have some fun. That's the point of all this, right? I want to do some testing. I want to figure out where exactly I'm going with this so that we all have a good time, right? So that whatever time I am here, I'm giving you my best and I'm giving you the stream's best. ahead and zoom out a little bit. I want to I wanna be sure I know when my top of the scent is coming. <laughs> Last time I kind of blew through it and had to throw in a, um, pardon me, I had to throw in a hold <laughs> at, my, at my initial approach fix because I was about a thousand feet too high and I was going too fast and on a 10 mile final, I just didn't have enough time to slow down. 
because uh, I pretty much dive bombed the runway from 23,000 feet. <laughs> uh, I started out, I think, six or seven thousand feet above profile. <laughs> <laughs> and I tried to not use um, my air brakes or my, my speed brakes. I didn't go as well as it did in my head. Um, I thought I had plenty of time, and then I saw that it was it was going to hit um, my estimated time of reaching. 3,000 feet was just before my decel point, just before my 2,000 feet fix. So there was no way I was going to hit 3,000 feet, slow down, slow down more because I hit the decel point, and then drop a thousand feet in like half a mile. There's no way. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm just going to plan for a bolt at my initial approach fix I'll go around once and I'll be down, I'll be slow I'll be comfortable that's the plan <laughs> I just want to real quick what did so what did uh, um, Mr. Dan Barry say was my Barry, what was my landing rate? 181. He says it was 181. Um, some toolkit says it was like 104. I'm not sure which one I believe, but both are respectable. Both are definitely a respectable landing rate. Mm. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy either way. Honestly. I'm ready for that. I'm feeling much better about my landings, right? Because now I'm not comparing. So initially, I was doing a lot of comparing myself to Captain Canada. Because that was the streamer I watched the most. Because at the time, he was online in the right time zone for me to be watching him while I'm working. Um, now, my schedule and how I work has changed a lot, particularly because of COVID um, and because of a fire that happened in 2018. And since then, I've kind of slowed down in watching him. So, um, having missed a lot of his streams now, I'm more judging myself just on myself. I'm not judging myself based on how I'm landing compared to him. He's getting butters all the time, right? Like, he's... He's always landing at 60 feet per minute. And I'm not. But compared to myself, I'm continuously getting better. Um, I'm pulling down my average significantly. Aside from a couple of really bad performances. Um... <clears throat> But aside that, like, aside those really bad performances, I'm doing really well. I'm sub 200 almost all the time. And that's something I can be very happy with, very proud of. I don't want to do this for too long. You want to look around and see what's going on inside. It's very pretty. I do, I, I am curious what this would look like in Microsoft Flight. I will say that. I'm very curious what this would be like in MFS. I also would like to play for you the other missed briefing. This is just a quick PSA from Arak. This is your captain speaking with safety briefing number four. If the child next to you, yours or not, starts crying really loud on the plane, 
plane. Have the flight attendant come up to the cockpit and let me know. I'll simulate a loss of pressure so the mass can come down and you can helpfully strangle the child until he's quiet. The more you know. The more you know. Uh... <laughs> I, I... I have to say, I'm, I'm really proud of that. And, and again, as I have said before, we here at Iraq Attack do not condone child violence. But, just like Team Four Star, you find it funny. So, uh, please don't lynch me. <laughs> Please don't lynch me, guys. I, I would very much appreciate it if you did not lynch me. Um, but yeah, so... I just thought that would be funny. Um, it's not meant to be serious. We don't want you to strangle your kids. And we do want you to put their masks on before you put your masks on. Um, now, I, I don't work for an airline. I'm not a real world pilot, thank God. Um, because I'm not good enough at this to be a real world pilot. I'm going to put that out there right now. Not good enough for that. Not yet. Now, would I like to at some point be a professional pilot? Oh, yeah. That, that would be my dream. I have always wanted to do that. Ever since I was a little bitty boy. Let me tell you, one of the first things that I got that made noise, the toys that made the noise, the one that I remember, was I got this old school F-14 Tomcat. And it was just a plastic model, right? But it had, so it, it had a handle that you slid into the underside of it. And the handle was shaped like a flight stick, kind of. Weird. And it had this big old button on the back and a trigger, and you, you could you could fire the weapons by hitting those triggers, and it had a, a flight motion, and, and I guess it had like an accelerometer in it or something, that like if, if you turned it so it was banking, like it would make flight sounds as it turned, as though it were actually turning. I don't know how it did it. It was it was not an expensive looking toy. It was a cheap toy. Um, Interdestination. Jesus Christ, we are so needy. Uh, let's, first, let's look and see if we can't grab our sample. We cannot. Uh, of course not. Of course. Temperature is 14. Winds are 001 at 0 knots. That's one thing I really don't quite understand yet is the MBA. There's our top of the sea. Okay. So we're looking at about 80, 80 nautical miles away. Perfect. Did it have a flight stick that stuck to the back? Yeah, it was... It, it, so it doesn't actually, like, stick to the back, right? There's a bat... The, 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 the grip is like a battery pack, and then there's, like, a flight stick that comes up off the back, right? And then there's just these little tabs on the battery pack... And there's hooks on the bottom, on the belly of the aircraft, on the belly of the F-14, and you'd slide it on, 
right? So it can be taken off to be used just as the plane itself, and then um, <clears throat> you could put the you could slide it back onto the thing, use it with the flight stick to make it look like it's flying, even though really you're just holding it up by the flight stick, and pressing the button on the thing would make noises as though the plane was fighting. You had four of those things. That's awesome! Okay, so I'm not the only one. Like, this is one of the first toys that make the noise that I remember having as a kid because I loved these things. I also had, like, a little uh, die-cast uh, F-16, um, which I really liked. I thought it was weird that it only had one engine because I was so used to looking at the F-14. I love the F-14. F-14 is the pinnacle of aviation as far as my little eight-year-old brain could conceptualize. Like, the F-14 was fan-fucking-tastic. Same reason why I liked the, uh, the uh, Star Trek Voyager, right? Because the wings hold. Okay? Variable wing geometry just does it for me. I cannot, I cannot put any more succinctly than that. I, 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 I need it. It, it just, it screams in the, in the primate section of my brain that this is amazing. Being able to have those wings that, that fold back into cruise mode, mm, it just, the primate part of my brain is going, ooh, 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 ooh. It's the same thing with Voyager, when, when it's going into warp, and those nacelles just going, whoosh. I'm like, ooh, 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 ooh. Like, it's amazing. I, it just does it for me. In the same way, I love VTOL. I love VTOL, where, where, where it actually, like, rotates the, 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 the thrust down. It gimbals the, the, uh, the engines downwards. Yeah, and the X-Wing. X-Wing, same deal. Same deal. The folding wings. It just, mm, I love it. Love it. I can't explain why. It, it just it screams in that primate part of my brain that this is awesome. That is, it just it just is that simple. It, it's just yes, moving parts in flight, moving parts. It it's it's the pinnacle of engineering. It can't get better than this ever. If you don't have gimbaled moving parts on your aircraft, your aircraft is trash. Like, that is it. That is how my brain sees it. I can't see it any other way. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna. And I'm not gonna feel bad about it. I'm sorry. Like, that's just the way it is, guys. Your, 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 your airplane does not have moving parts. You you just made the, the, the FA-18C Super Hornet. And you're so proud of it? Guess what? No moving parts? Trash. Your plane? Fucking trash. It's AC to A A10 Warthog? Trash. No moving parts. The Hawkeye? That's different. Got a little rotating dome thing. That's pretty cool, but it's not... It doesn't look like it's moving. Right? It rotates because it's a radar, but guess what? It doesn't move. It doesn't look like it's moving. It just rotates. It's different. That's basically a helicopter. That's a helicopter with an engine on its ass, okay? Not the same thing. That's not as cool. It's still better than the F-18. Not because it's better than the F-18, but because it's got no moving parts. It's got it's got just the one, and it does something very boring. The F-14 sweeps them wings back. Oh, it starts looking sleek. Woo! I love that plane. I love that plane. <laughs> that's 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 what it is. Moving part, how you do it in the water, even better. You know, like a submarine with moving parts, not just like the propellers and shit, but like parts. It changes the geometry of the the vessel. Whoa, like those power boats where 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 like. They, they, they have pontoons that slide down to keep it really high in, in choppy waters, but then if they get out to sea, they, it can kind of spread out and slim down and start 
just skimming the water like a bat out of hell. Oh, I love that. It's beautiful to me. And I can't explain it. Like, I, I know from a technological standpoint, from an engineering standpoint, from, from, from a military standpoint, the F-18C Super Hornet is in all ways superior to the F-14, except, I think, for range. That's it. The F-14 might have range on it. I'm not sure everything else. Super Hornet's better. Just straight up better. But Primate Brain, much happier with the Tomcat. My, 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 my... Next phase? What the fuck is a phase? Oh, it's just ready to do. Okay, let's do the phase. Before it makes me uh, descend. Let's do the thing. We're about 30 miles from descent. We're approaching Belfast. Let's really hope that we can win this, guys. If we do, we get a gold chest all to ourselves. Cyber node zip. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I think we've won this. Yes! Hype in the chat! at random. Ooh, Ibby, you got 200 gold. If I was you, I would take that to the uh, store and grab some of the rolls off of the store. It makes it much easier to progress. Alright, and I am not going to do another Stream Raiders today because we just don't have enough time. Uh, we're going to be descending here in a few minutes. So, I don't want to start something I can't finish. Oh, thank you very much for being here for that. Anyway, okay, so. Okay, I've got a couple of chats here. Uh, da, da, da. Actually, not really, so it's a very different animal, very different capabilities. F-14 carries a whole lot more fuel and ordnance, and has generally higher performance all around. Really? Super Hornet is a strike fighter, less about being fast and maneuverable, and has nowhere near the air to air performance. It mostly went out due to being newer and less movement. Okay, so Primate Brain knows what the fuck it's talking about. Like, that's, that's all, that's what I'm here. How about y'all? Is, is that what you're hearing? Don't get me started on the F-14. Fuck you! Get started on the F-14! Talk to me about that shit. Get me hard. I don't care. For real, like... The F-14 has about four times the movie parts. Yeah, they're called wings. <laughs> they're called wings! <laughs> I entertain myself and I can't help laughing at my own joke. I know it's bad. I know you're not supposed to do that. But man, I can't help it. <laughs> oh, okay. We need to descend. We need to descend. <laughs> okay, landing elevator is auto. Arrivals is completed. I'm gonna request this wind port here. There we go. That's the climb wind, you dumb shit. Where's my descent wind? There it is. And and there's nothing. Fuck. Oh well. I missed it. I don't care. <laughs> oh no, I mean I won't stop. Don't you ain't scaring me! Uh, no, no, think, okay, so each wing has about 12 individual moving control services. Yeah. yeah. The F-14 is a maintainer's nightmare. True. 
I say nothing of the structural stress from actually moving the blades. Yeah, I know. But look, you can't argue against the rule of cool. And primate brain tells me moving parts are cool. I'm sorry, you're not gonna beat that. You can't beat that. Okay, so we're gonna want to exit, we're gonna wanna vacate left on Lima or Alpha, preferably Lima. Uh, and it's 9,100 feet. So I'm not too worried about top stopping distance. Um, flight. We're looking at our arrival charts. Empty chart, middle and height, 1700. Approach. I'm just going to approach for 17. Exactly. And that's uh, see, I'm not in the military and I'm not an actual aviator, so that's where that competition ends. <laughs> it won. <laughs> there is nothing else. But it was freaking expensive to run. And yeah, moving parts. Ooh, 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 ooh. Exactly. It wins. That's it. It already won. You cannot beat that. That's just the end of the conversation. That's it wins. Like we can talk about everything about it. I want to know everything about this plane. But like, that's it. It won. That's all anybody needed to hear. It won. You're done. <laughs> I would. I. Oh man. I mean, that's not even getting into the radar. The F-14 is like a mini AWACS. Is that the thing that's on the top of the, the, the Hawkeye? I don't, I, like, I don't know these things. Like, I, I think the A-10 Warthog has, uh, has AWACS. I'm not sure. <laughs> Turning that radar on was it a turret. <laughs> you turn that radar on, they get the ping. Oh, Lord, he coming. <laughs> Yeah, the big spinny dish. Okay, so I was right. I, was, I knew a thing, right? I'm like, I'm not a military person, but as a kid, I loved military aircraft. I just absolutely adored them um, because in my head, jumbo jets were boring. Now look at me. <laughs> now jumbo jets are fucking cool, and I'm sitting here like, you showed me DCS. You, 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 you showed me DCS, and you heard my reactions. Like seriously, that's it? It's that easy? And you're like, yeah, they're designed to be turned on in like five minutes because they need to be there for, for like, you know, defense. So you have to be able to turn them on quickly. Oh dear, I think I might be on high. No, it says I'm on. It says I'm on profile. Seriously, that's what happened. The radar was so powerful, the F-14 basically carried air-launched sands. <laughs> that is goddamn beautiful. I love that. Oh, 
I just love that idea of just flipping on the radar and then everything that's coming at you just goes, whoop. Nope, we're done. <laughs> you guys want to play? Flick. Nope. Nope. We going home. We got the COVIDs. <laughs> The missile was like Mach 4 and can get from way beyond anything else. You got to hit by the radar. You run! An F-14 has lock. Well, eject, I guess. <laughs> we done here. You can have the damn plane. Did you hear that? You hear that tone? Beep! Okay, uh... I know you're back there, and uh, where do you want me to land? You, uh, just tell me what to do. I'm, I'm happy to do whatever you want. F-14 comes back. Yeah, uh, we don't have any weapons. <laughs> you're just like, I don't care, man. <laughs> that radar could nuke my children. <laughs> Exactly. The missile wasn't that maneuverable. It was easy to defeat if you saw it coming. If not, you just didn't know what the fuck happened. You're just done. That's the end of your day. Oh, I love this song. I love all the Winter Katana stuff, really. But, uh,. Yeah, just that, that concept is <laughs> just beautiful to me. Like, just imagine in order, like, like a couple, like, a couple months ago, there was a flight over somewhere in the Middle East. I can't remember what country it was, but uh, it was from one country to another country. There were some Canadians on board. It got shot down by the country that was flying over. And tragically, all lives, I think, were lost. Um, but just imagine bolting an F-14's radar suite to the bottom of a civilian jet just so that if somebody starts to engage, you flick that system on, everybody scrambles and runs away. <laughs> just imagine if that would actually work. I don't know. Maybe it would. Maybe that would work. You just scare them into thinking an F-14 just tore ass out of nowhere. Was hiding in their radar profile. Maybe you do run at that point. Maybe it's just that scary. It is the boogeyman. So I guess, for once, my, my primate brain was right. F-14, it, it just doesn't get better. I mean, maybe the F, what is it, the F-35 or something that's that, that was done much more recently? Maybe that's better. I don't know. But it will never beat the coolness of the F-14. The only thing that came close, the only thing that came close was the Harrier. I did like the Harrier. Like I said, VTOL got me off too. I was very impressed by, by VTOL. <clears throat> Uh, I was very impressed by the Harrier. Um, but other than that, like, you, you gotta be really awesome to outshine the F-14 to me. You just, actually, you just don't. You just don't outshine the F-14. That's just, that's just it. You're gone. Go on. F-14's here, man. The best you're getting is second place. <clears throat> that is the best you're gonna get. Can you imagine how upset I was when I saw that X Plane, Microsoft Flight Sim, and FSX, none of them, they all feature the F 18. Actually, I don't think that, I don't think X Plane has the F eighteen. I think X Plane only has the SR seventy one, which don't get me wrong, cool ass plane. 
I love the SR-71. Do not get it twisted. I love its air intake. It uses the same <clears throat> air intake that modern ramjets use. Uh, or aerospikes, pardon me. It uses the, the same ramjet intake that aerospikes use. Um, it has the F-4. F-4, you're missing 10, okay? It does not win the rule of cool. <clears throat> but, uh, like, FSX and Microsoft Flight both have the F-18. Um, X-Plane has the F-4 and the uh, SR-71. That's it. And I'm like, they don't do it for me. Not as much as the F-14. Can't beat the Tomcat. Also, fun fact, the SR-71, the engines are ramjets. Yeah. You can bypass the compressor and just run on ramjets. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Because, I mean, that's what that's what those, those spikes at the front of it are for. They're, they're essentially a, 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 you know, a, a non-mechanical version, or a totally mechanical version of a compressor. <clears throat> it was also designed to fly high as fuck, and it's got, I think, two sister ships that, um, that, uh, are, that, that both didn't really fly. They also tried putting, uh, if I remember correctly, I may be wrong here, and this may be an urban legend or a myth, I don't know, but uh, from what I understand, they also tried to put guns on the SR-71 at some point, and it killed itself. <laughs> because it was literally flying faster than the bullets. I should show you the textbook I have, it goes in depth on that engine, I love that engine. FS9 F14 mod. Listen, anything that allows me to fly an F14. Now the problem is I don't have flight sim. I, I don't have MFS9, so I'm not sure. Uh, hold up. I need to be doing things. Uh, constraints are already on. LS can come on. I don't think I'm going to get a ILS here. I'm not sure. <clears throat> oh, I'm very, I'm very uncertain of my future. Oh shit. <laughs> We're going to need to get a visual on the runway. Mm. Okay, speed check flaps one. There's the runway. 2,500. 
There is no uh, wide slope. Gears down. Our brake is set. You check flaps three. No, flaps two. No, yeah, flaps three. Okay, just check it. Oh, God. Check, flaps full. Auto throttle is on. Those wheel lights, landing lights, everything. You can no blue. One five. Okay, we're gonna try and do this without crashing. Supposed to be taxiway here. There's, there's supposed to be a taxiway, and I do not see it. Taxiway Alpha. Oh wait, wait, wait. There it is. There it is. Okay. Okay. Whoo! It also works in FSX. Okay, um, I'd have to reinstall FSX. Okay. This is why I could go on about the F14 for days. An in-depth mod of it for several years. College project. Nice! Oh! are retracted, ground spoilers disarmed, engine mode is normal, flaps are retracted, AP master on, wait for the flap open message. Brakes are hot, let's go ahead and turn on the brake fan, train on ND is off. Flap 
open APU start. Okay, we're gonna take Alpha to Lima, which is which is gonna become Lima. And then we're going to park. Where are we gonna park? 24? I would love to fly it though. So I may I may still reinstall it just to be able to fly it. I don't care, I'll be flying on rails. Okay, now we're on Lima. We're definitely not parking in GA. MFS 2020, but not sure. No, I tried to cave up. Oh, sad. Okay, let's slow the fuck down because this is where we're going to turn it. We park right over here. As soon as this truck kills us. Trucks killing us on the apron. Lay it down a bit. Yeah. I think that should be close. We normally have a marshal. Oh. Oh, damn. There. Ooh! Ladies and gentlemen, we're all gonna Belfast. Turn off the nose wheel lights. Uh, park brakes on, anti ice is off, AP bleed can come on, engine one and two master can come off, runway, turn off lights are off, wing lights can come off, nav and low, uh, nose wheel lights are off, beacon can come off. Seat belts can come off. Lapse time can stop. All right. Uh, fuel pumps all off. Transponder to standby mode. I'm not gonna worry about McDo's dim. I will, however, turn off. I will, however, turn off the brake fans because we're not going to do another sector. I am, however, going to check the park brake is on. Turn off my adears. One, two, and three. External lights can all come off now. That's all external lights off, APU bleed off, APU master off, emergency exit lights off, uh, no smoking light off, battery one and two off. Now everybody, please, get the fuck off my plane! And that, my friend, is a good way to get banned. Bye-bye! Have a nice day. Um, so, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate it so, so much. However, this is going to be the last time I will be here on a Wednesday scheduled. Uh, I'm going to start doing Tuesday and Friday as normal. Um, Wednesday will be a day for makeups. 
or for me to just come on sporadically, have fun, maybe with a totally different game that's not even on any list. Uh, just a weird times, doesn't matter. Maybe different days. It's not just Wednesdays. It's going to be any day I might pop in at any time. So thank you guys so much for being here, and I will see you guys later. Uh, watch for this stuff to be releasing on YouTube. Uh, flights release on every Friday uh, at midnight, just before Friday, not at the end of Friday. Uh, and then Mega Man releases on Mondays, same time. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful week. And ladies and gentlemen of, Will, of YouTube, thank you so much for being here. I know there was a lot talked about here that doesn't really apply to you that much unless you really want to come by and check me out live during the week. I do flights on Tuesdays and I will be doing Mega Man on Fridays. I will also pop in from time to time, just dick around and have some fun, different times of day, different days, different games, just to have fun. Uh, so you might want to be a part of the community, jump onto the Discord, that'll be down in the description below. If you're interested in the aircraft that we've been flying, you can also see that down in the description below. X-Plane is in the description below, uh, where we flew, down in the description. Um, you'll see this and the previous flight that we both did these recorded today on 331. Uh, you'll see these coming out two separate weeks. I'm sorry guys, but I do need a little bit of time to process these videos and uh, I'd gotten down to the point where I did not have any buffer at all So I was uh, doing a flight on Monday and or on when Tuesday and having to process it Wednesday and release it Thursday night so um, I'm sorry guys. It's just gonna be a couple weeks after I've got a little bit of a buffer then we'll go back to one video on Twitch, one video on YouTube. That's it. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me and having some fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, feel free to let me know anything that uh, you think I'm doing wrong, anything you think I'm doing right, anything you'd like to see. Hit me up in the con comments down below or in the Discord. Again, that's in the description. Thank you guys so much and have a wonderful evening. Bye.